hello guys uh, today we will be looking into implementation of bundling and minification in dotnet core uh, for that we will first create dotnet core mvc application using dotnet cli command we can create dotnet core mvc app using dotnet space new space mvc space hyphen o space bundling minification test app here bundling minification test app is the name of the application The application is now created. We will now open it in Visual Studio. We will click on open a project or a solution. Now we will select the project from the directory where we have created from using the .NET CLI command. This will now open the project in Visual Studio. Now we will install build bundler minifier NuGet package. I will click on the browse and enter the build bundler minifier name. Now click on install button to install the NuGet package. Now we can see build bundler minification NuGet package is installed. Now we will add bundle config.json file which is required to configure our JS and CSS bundles. To add, right click on the solution and click on add new item. Search for JSON and write new file name as bundle config.json. Now we will first add CSS bundle. To do it, we will first mention the output file name as www root slash css slash site dot mean dot css and add the input file as www root slash css slash site dot css also we will add js bundle we will give output file name as www root slash js slash site dot mean dot js and mention input files as www root slash js slash common dot js and www root slash js slash user dot js here you can see we have mentioned two input files and we are bundling those two files into site dot mean dot js site dot mean dot js will have a data of common dot js and user dot js and because we have mentioned it as a dot mean dot js it will be minified version now we will add these two javascript files we will add the validation code into these two files Now we will modify layout.cshtml page. We will modify the style sheet URL to site.min.cs and also we will modify JavaScript file path to site.min.js. Now we have completed with the configuration of bundling and minification and also we have pointed the correct URL in the layout file. Now we will run the application. We can now see application is running successfully in the browser. We haven't got any error. We will now click on inspect element to see whether CSS and JS files are loaded correctly. We can see CSS slash site dot mean dot CS is loaded correctly in the browser. 
Also, we can see js slash site.main.js is loaded correctly in the browser. You can now see how we have implemented bundling and verification in .NET Core. Hope you have understood the implementation. If you have liked the video, please press like and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.